Hey, I'm Mike with woodshopmike.com and today I'm going to show you how to build this farmhouse platform bed. We did a beadboard, headboard, and footboard and then there are also three drawers underneath that go the full width of the bed for tons of storage. So let's get to the build. For all the solid wood components of this bed, I chose to go with poplar. It's inexpensive, easy to find, and it works well. Now over at the miter saw, I start off all of my rough cuts. Here I'm cutting about an inch to an inch and a half longer than what I'll need for my final pieces. At the joiner I start the rough milling operations. Now here I'm just cleaning up one edge, and that's to give me a smooth surface to run against the table saw fence. And at the table saw, I start ripping these down to their rough widths, which is about a half inch wider than their final dimension. And back at the joiner, I machine one face to allow for a good glue surface when I laminate the legs. bring the legs down to their final dimensions, I head over to the joiner and I machine two perpendicular sides. Once this is done, I actually use the table saw to clean up the rest. You could use the planer if you wanted to, but this is just what I did. For the remaining items that will make up the frame of the headboard and footboard, I'd go through the exact same process. At the router table, I machine a groove in the legs, top rail, and bottom rail. Now this groove is going to be used to hold the inset panel that we'll get to in a little while. The last machining operation to do before we begin assembling the headboard and footboard is to drill for pocket holes, and the Craig Foreman makes really quick work of this. Since this bed frame is going to be painted, I simply sand up to 150 grit and then call it done. To make this panel, I cut a sheet of quarter inch beadboard and plywood, both larger than the final size needed. I used contact cement to adhere these two panels, and after the cement tacked, I used some sticks to help align the two sheets and then a flooring roller to apply even pressure. Once the contact cement had cured, I broke out the Craig ACS and used that to rip these down to their final size, and this came in really handy to make sure those panels were good and square. So as you see, I'm setting the panel inside of the top rail, the bottom rail, and the legs. These parallel clamps are really handy for assembling projects like this. They hold everything in place while you're running the screws and it just makes life easy. Thank you. 
Now I'm milling the stock for the bed rails, which are also going to double as a face frame. With the rails and styles left just a little bit thick and cut to their final widths, I'm ready to start drilling for pocket holes. I'll be using one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws to assemble the face frame. Now I'm just quickly sanding the inside surfaces of the face frame before assembly. And just like before, I'm using the clamp to hold things in place while I run in the screws. Now you may have noticed that I had a spacer block and that's to keep a consistent opening for the drawers. With the face frame assembled, I head over to the drum sander and bring it down to the final thickness. At the table saw, I rip stock for the rails and styles that will make up the false drawer fronts. Here I'm setting up to cut the groove in the rails and styles that'll hold the center panel once this drawer face is assembled. I make a quick test cut, measure to make sure that both sides are even and adjust as necessary. With the router table dialed in, I'm ready to start cutting the groove in all of my stock. And at the miter saw, I cut down the rails and styles to their final lengths. Now back at the router table, I've switched out the bit to cut the tongue in the end of all of the style. And just a quick test fit makes sure that everything is set up properly. I opted to make the center panels out of MDF because it's cheap and really stable. I head back over to the router table to cut the rabbit in the center panels. Now to assemble the false drawer fronts, I just put glue on the rails and styles. I also use space balls in the grooves and that just helps to center the panel and allow for any seasonal movement. And here I'm really just using clamps to help square up the drawer face assembly while the glue cures. Back at the drum sander, I bring the drawer faces down to their final thickness. I use 3 quarter inch plywood to build the front, back, and sides of these drawer boxes, and then I went with quarter inch for the drawer bottom. Once everything is cut to length, I head back over to the table saw and cut the dado that will hold the drawer bottoms. Now just a handful of pocket holes in the drawer fronts and backs and I'm ready for assembly. As you see, the assembly of these drawers is really easy. Just throw it in some clamps, check for square and run in your pocket hole screws. If you're new over here and you're enjoying the project, I'd love it if you'd go ahead, like, and subscribe. Thanks. To secure the bed rails to the headboard and footboard, we went with Rockler's keyhole bed rail brackets. These are really easy to install. To install the bed slat support, I'm just running two and a half inch screws through it into the face frame, which is the last step before I install the other part of the keyhole bracket hardware. To install the angle bracket, I'm using four one and a quarter inch pocket hole screws. With the bed frame together, I can now install the drawer slide supports. And as the name implies, the drawer slides are going to get screwed to this. For this project, we opted to go with General Finishes Milk Paint in Snow White and Antique White. We also used their Stain Blocking Primer. 
On the MDF center panel for the false drawer fronts, I sprayed two coats of shellac before we started the priming and painting process. Here I'm using Craig's cabinet hardware jig to drill centered holes for the drawer pulls. On this side of the bed, we're just gonna give the illusion of having drawers. So we have a little support block and then we're just screwing the false drawer front in place. And on the other side, I just drill through the pre-drilled holes and use that to attach the drawer pulls. Assembly of this bed is quick and easy. We just pop the drawers back in, and with a little helper handing you screws, securing those bed slats goes pretty quick. All right, well that's gonna wrap us up for the day. A big thank you goes to Craig Jig for sponsoring this build, and if you're interested in the plans, make sure to go check out the link below. Hey, what do you think about your bed? I like it. Awesome. Ah, oh, you're still there, awesome. Hey, if you enjoyed this video, I got another one queued up for you right here. And if you want other awesome content from me, check out those. Anyways, hope you enjoyed the video. Please hit the like and subscribe, and until next time, have fun making something.